Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today we're trying Stouffer's new Classic Pub Meatballs and Potatoes Bowl Full, which weighs in at 14 ounces and costs $3.49 and consists of house-made meatballs made with premium meat, savory mushroom gravy, and cheddar cheese mashed potatoes. The picture on the box looks delicious and it looks like a lot of food, but that's on the box. We'll have to wait and see how it looks out of the box. Here's the list of ingredients, and I do not like the way they're listed. These ingredients are all lumped together, so you can't tell what's in what. Other than that, the ingredient list doesn't appear to be horrible, and it appears that the meatballs are made out of pork and beef with no TVP. Woohoo! Has 470 calories, 20 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, a half a gram of trans fat, 75 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,460 milligrams of sodium, 42 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 31 grams of protein. That 0.31 grams of protein was a typo on the Stouffer's website. The only recommended reheating method is in the microwave. In the last video on the market side chicken biscuit, some of you really blasted me, calling me names, leaving vulgar comments, etc. All because I followed the cooking instructions for the biscuit. That said to heat for only 35 seconds, but also to ensure the internal temperature of the chicken patty got to 165 degrees. But after 35 seconds, it wasn't even close to 165 degrees. So I kept cooking it until it got to 165 degrees. I guess what I'm trying to say is I try to cook all these meals exactly as directed by the manufacturer because that's the only way to give you, the people, a fair and accurate review. So let's get our bowl full out of the box and into the old nuker. The directions say to leave the plastic film on and microwave on high for four minutes. Then after four minutes, uncover and mix. Mrs. Wolf Pit mixed everything separately to keep everything from getting mixed together so we could taste everything on its own. Now this is really cheesy, but unfortunately it looks like all the cheese got mixed in with the gravy, but it won't matter once we mix everything together. And there's a whole lot more meatballs in here than I expected. But you can never have too many balls, right? Once everything's thoroughly mixed, recover and microwave on high for two more minutes and then let it rest for a minute. After cooking for a total of six minutes and resting for another minute, our Stouffer's Classic Pub Meatballs and Mashed Potatoes Bowl Full is ready. Now that looks pretty good to me. What do you, the people, think? We gave the mashed potatoes a quick mix, trying to keep them separate from the savory mushroom gravy. Then we picked up a big old spoonful to shove down my gullet. Now these mashed potatoes are everything you'd want, but wouldn't expect in a frozen dinner. They're moist and creamy and don't taste like wallpaper paste. I left cheesy out because the cheese isn't mixed in with the mashed potatoes yet. Then we mixed up the classic pub meatballs and savory mushroom gravy. Now once they're mixed together, they look more like Swedish meatballs, which isn't a bad thing. Then we scooped up a classic pub meatball to try. And like I always do, I popped it into my mouth and sucked the meatball dry of gravy. That way, I get to taste the gravy and the meatball separately. And while I was tasting the gravy, I actually got a couple mushrooms, which was surprising to me. I expected a mushroom flavored gravy. The savory mushroom gravy was pretty good. It was rich, but a little bit salty. And I was hoping that saltiness would go away once everything's mixed all together. 
So I took a bite out of the meatball and it was also surprisingly good. The texture was great, the flavor was great, it was very moist, and I really liked the somewhat chunky vegetables in it. It was definitely a mighty fine ball. Then we mixed everything together, which I'm pretty sure that's how they're intended to be eaten. And once everything's mixed together, it sure didn't look very good. So we scooped up a classic pub meatball, the savory mushroom gravy, and the cheddar mashed potatoes for one last bite. So into the pie hole and down the gullet it went. And once everything was mixed together, everything came together. The saltiness from the gravy went away and complemented the mashed potatoes along with the moist and tender meatballs. This bowl full was delicious, which is why I'm giving Stouffer's Classic Pub Meatballs and Mashed Potatoes Bowl Full a 9 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.